The religion of Islam is consisted of two major religious festivals and Eid al-Adha is one of these two festivals. Eid al-Fitr is the first major festival and Eid al-Adha is the second major festival in Islam. It is also one of the two biggest holidays for all Muslims and this is called as holiday of the sacrifice for this reason. The word Eid appears once in the fifth surah of the Holy Quran named al maida from which the significance of Eid festivals in Islam easily be perceived. Eid means a festival or a feast in English and Eid al-Adha means festival, feast or holiday of the sacrifice because Muslims sacrifice animals to please Allah during this Eid. Every year, Eid al-Adha marks the ending of Hajj which is the fourth pillar of Islam. It is celebrated on the 10th day of Dhu al-Hijjah month which is the last month of the Islamic calendar. Though the 10th day of Dhu al-Hijjah is the most popular date for celebrating the festival, the celebration continues for the next three days and ends on the 13th day of Dhu al-Hijjah. The date of Eid al-Adha is fixed in the Islamic calendar which is the 10th day of Dhu al-Hijjah month. But there is no exact date for this festival in the Gregorian calendar because Islamic months are based on lunar not on solar and they have no connection with seasons. Even the total days of these months can be both 29 or 30 days. Actually, the Arabic or Islamic calendar is basically a lunar calendar where a new month begins with the sight of a new moon's crescent. As the Arabic lunar calendar depends on the moon, the year of its calendar is 11 to 12 days lesser than the Gregorian calendar. That's why Eid al-Adha migrates throughout the whole year. However, Eid al-Adha is notable for honoring the willingness of Prophet Ibrahim's sacrifice of his son Prophet Ismail as an act of obedience to Allah's command. On the holy occasion of Eid al-Adha, all Muslim communities across the whole world commemorate the spiritual event by sacrificing animals like camel, cow, goat, sheep, etc. Usually, the first ritual of Eid al-Adha starts with performing a special prayer known as Eid prayer in the morning. This Eid prayer is only nominated for the celebration of Eid which is consisted of two rakats and performed in an open field, a big mosque or a large hall. This is not only the first ritual but also this is one of the main rituals of this festival. After completing the Eid prayer, all Muslims greet and embrace each other by saying Eid Mubarak which means blessed Eid in English. If people want to donate money to the poor or needy, then they will have to donate them before performing the Eid prayer. Sacrificing of domestic halal animals is the central part of the Eid al-Adha celebration. It is a mandatory ritual of Eid al-Adha that the meat from the sacrificed animals must be divided into three equal parts. The first part gives for family consumption, the second part sends to relatives or friends' houses, and the third or last part distributes to poor or needy people. The purpose is to make sure every Muslim can eat meat on the occasion. Again, cooking the meat from sacrificed animals along with preparing sweet dishes and other delicious food items to consume are the attractive parts of the Eid al-Adha festival. The day is also sometimes called the Greater Eid as this occasion is the best way to forgive others and seek forgiveness from others. To celebrate Eid al-Adha, Muslims buy and wear new dresses, decorate homes, present gifts, arrange family and friends gathering, go to meet with relatives, etc. Further, some Muslim communities visit the graves of dead people to submit dua for their well-being to Allah. It is strictly prohibited to perform fasting on the day of Eid al-Adha in Islam. 
Currently, the Eid celebration is continued for three days which is applicable for offices and businesses. On the other hand, educational institutions like schools, colleges and universities remain closed for a week. Due to the observation of Eid al-Adha, offices, buildings, doors, etc. are decorated and most of the restaurants are offered a special menu with huge discounts on Eid day. Additionally, special films and movies, television shows and series, reality and comedy shows, music and songs concerts, dance programs, etc. are telecast on Eid day. Furthermore, many customs of the Eid al-Adha festival like gifts giving, cards giving, buying new dresses, decorations and lighting, etc. help to increase the better economic condition by being a key sales period for retailers and businesses. Particularly, Eid al-Adha is a blessing for leather-based industries and domestic animals businesses. Thereby, Eid becomes a significant festival in recent times for its smoothly developing economic condition in many countries of the world. For these reasons, Eid al-Adha is one of the most beloved festivals of Islam observed by Muslims of all ages and classes, which develops a strong brotherhood among all Muslims. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Assalamu alaikum.